I mean, um, <clears throat> hi. Hey everyone, it's your girl Autumn. And if you're new here, hi, nice to meet ya. Okay, so a couple days ago, one day, I was like just hanging out in here and I don't know what happened, but I managed to come up with a whole song and I wrote and composed it in three days. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me share because it's kind of cool that I did it just kind of fleshed itself out in the span of those three days. So I am going to be sharing that with you guys today. I'm gonna to show y'all some stuff that I did within the DAW and I'm gonna show y'all the choices I made and some effects that I use, all the stuff. So keep watching if you wanna see how it turned out. And also, if you wanna check out any of my music, I'm going to put that over here and it's also gonna be in the description box below. Go check out my music on all platforms. It's pretty rad. I think you should go listen to it. It's pretty fun. Go check it out. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen so y'all can see what's going on. So, cut to the screen. The song is called Industry Lovers, and I'm about to give y'all a quick backstory on how I came up with that in just a second. Okay, so here is the session so far. There's a lot of stuff that's going to not necessarily get redone, but you know, the vocals, of course, I, I did them here at my house. And as I've told y'all before in past videos, I'm about to go back to college, so I'm going to have access to better equipment, things like that. But just equipment, period, I'm just gonna have better stuff to use at my disposal. So I'm gonna go redo these. But these are just demo scratch vocals. That way I have an idea of what it's supposed to sound like before I go re-record it. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now, here is a quick backstory of what the song is about. So, as of right now in the present day, 2023, y'all have been seeing on the internet, it's not it's not new, way, it's happening way too often. People in the industry are breaking up left and right. So I was like, what is going on? And so I, <laughs> I decided to write a song about that. And so that's why I titled the song, Industry Lovers. And so, I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. That way you can get an idea of what this is sounding like. And then I'll start explaining the choices that I made within the song. So here we go. <laughs> There's a place where the aliens reside People that the world knows get inside The whole room stopped And they locked eyes They thought, oh my God Let's give it a try Now that's what I call couple goals Look at them They go last Sure, time goes by. Now they are no more. Well, that's the story of how they became industry lovers. It was real love for a while, but it didn't last very long. Got caught up in the limelight. They looked good in 4K, but behind closed doors was heartache. Another one bites the dust. Will they ever find the so that is how the song goes and just so y'all know this is just production phase still i have not mixed anything i'm still making things sound better and just coming up with things so still in production phase so don't trip about how it sounds but yeah so let me walk y'all through a little bit of the song so i'll start with the drums i came up with the drum idea. I kind of wanted it to be swung a little bit. I'll play y'all the the hook and what that sounds like. I'll solo it for you. Here you go. So that's kind of how I wanted it to sound. I wanted it to be a little swung. So I just had the idea in my head and then I just had to figure out how to flesh it out on the pads because 
I'm not a drummer, so I was like, how do I do these beats like at different times? So I, I just had to practice a little bit before I recorded it. But that's how the drum part sounds at the moment. And then I also incorporated just really a little crash here and there because I needed, I wanted to have a crash and the one that was in the electronic drum kit didn't do it justice. So I just got a different drum kit and used the crash in that. Then I went and did the bass and here is what the bass sounds like by itself. So that is the bass. I always love doing little uh, slides to different notes. I just love what that sounds like. It, it sounds really funky to me when I hear live bass do that or somebody just performing live and like sliding to the next note. It just sounds really, really cool to me. So I decided to incorporate that on the keyboard as you saw and with the, um, the pitch bender. I don't know if I'll ever, for this song in particular, I don't know if I'll go back and have some of my friends at school maybe do it for with a live bass or not of course it'll give it that more real then i went and added a harmonic component keys so i first started with the piano and this is what the piano sounds like right here So that's the piano and it just had the basic chords of it and then to add on with the piano I went and added chords that are it's the same chords just with a pad synthesizer and I just wanted it to have I don't know I just want to have another harmonic component but they're playing the same exact chords so this is what the digital colors sounds like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, I just wanted it to sound, I wanted it to just pop a little more, so I just added those pads in there. And then there's also some other layers with the harmonics in there as well that you heard before. And... That is what I decided to do with that. So now we can move on to the voices and the vocals. So in the beginning, you heard like I kind of, I don't know what that trick is called, but basically for all of the uh, vocals, I added a low pass filter and automated the low pass filter on every single track in order to have that effect of where it's like sounding like it's muffled in the background. And then it's just slowly coming in closer to you as if you're like somebody's walking up towards you from a distance and you're hearing them get closer and closer and it just becomes more clear so I will solo that really quick yeah so I added that I thought that was just a cool effect because I've heard that in pop music before. I decided to try that and it turned out pretty cool. Uh, obviously, it still needs to be sharpened up a little bit because I just kind of quickly did it in my room because I, I knew what I wanted it to sound like. I knew I wanted that low pass filter effect on it and I, I, wa I knew I wanted to automate it. I, so I just kind of quickly did it and then I think I probably like, copy and pasted a lot of it to every other track. So, <laughs> so that's what that is. And then I started out with the verse. In, in regards to writing them, it didn't really take me that long because I knew the story I wanted to tell about, you know, just people dating in the industry. And I was like, I know what I like. I just want to tell a story about usually how it plays out. And of course, we're on the outside looking in. So we don't know everything about their situations. But this is what people see on the outside looking in. So that's why I came up with these lyrics. And then this part is where the harmonies really, really come in in the pre-hook. And I'll play that for you. This part, I knew I wanted it to 
layer on top of one another after each line. It actually turned out really, really well, and I love what I did. It took me a minute, because I always try to think about how I can make it sound cooler, or how I can just come up with harmony ideas differently than I did before on a previous song. So this is what I came up with. I'll solo these two. And it was just literally me layering each part of a chord in the harmony on top of one another. Now that's what I call couple goals. Look at them. They gon' last for sure. Time goes by. Now they are no more. Well, that's the story of how they became industry lovers. It was real love for a while. But it didn't last very long. Got caught up in the love like they looked good in 4K. And then this next part, I also have heard this a lot in electronic pop songs. And I wanted to add the effect right here that you see where people pitch down or pitch up the line in a song and like have that layered with the lead vocal to just kind of have it like a monster slash chipmunk effect layered with it. So that's what this next line is doing. But behind closed doors was heartache. Listen. Another one bites the dust. Will they ever find the one in the industry? So yeah, I, I wanted, I for sure knew what I wanted to do with that part. And I added the pitched up and down vocal on it. I, I had to tweak it a little bit and, just mess with it to just get it balanced a little bit just because I didn't want the pitched vocal to overpower the lead. So I was just like, let me play with it a little bit. But of course, not done. So I did all this really, really fast. But it's like, obviously not bad. It's coming together pretty dang cool. So I'm not upset about it. I'm just gonna go back and tweak a lot of these things later. But I just wanted to flesh out the idea of this song it's coming together really cool. I'm actually really hype. I like it. I'm I'm really into it. And I don't know if I'll release this ever as my own song or not. It's It could be my own song, but it, it's just a cool song that I just, I wanted to make. And also it was good because it was challenging myself to just straight up come up with an idea first with the lyrics. And then I just fleshed out the song. This is still a work in progress. I just wanted to come on here and share it because I thought this was a really cool idea that I came up with. I'm glad that I'm able to like flesh out these ideas a lot faster than I used to, because sometimes I would just kind of be sitting on songs, but I'm trying to get better at take the time to sit here and come up with a cool concept idea and then just throw it up out of my brain into a doll slash voice notes slash notes app to just get the ideas out of my mind. So that is what this song, Industry Lovers, is, and that is how it's coming along. I just wanted to come on here and share that, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you like how the song is coming, make sure to like and comment down below your favorite part of the song. And also leave a comment if you think there would be anything cool to add to it. And also don't forget to turn on no post notifications so you don't miss the next video. Also, again, make sure to check out my songs. I'm gonna put it up here again. And again, it's in the description box below. Also, if you wanna work with me, I am on Fiverr. I have a couple gigs up there, music production gigs, of course. So if you wanna work with me, also check out that link and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.